We are in Savannah and we're going on a food tour. Today we are in downtown Savannah and we are heading to brunch at Collins Quarter. We are starting off our food day here in Savannah at Collins Quarter and we put in our order. So we've seen the food coming out and it looks absolutely delicious. Madeline got the Eggs Benedict and it's topped with pulled pork and bacon and it's actually served on French toast. I got the short rib which kind of looks like a bit of a hash and it's also served on toast. So we're looking forward to that coming out and everyone's food looks so good so far. We are starving. Collins Quarter actually has ties to Melbourne, Australia. Now, Melbourne has a famous street in the town, Collins Street, and so the chef brought a bit of that Collins Street atmosphere here to Savannah back when they opened in 2014. This looks absolutely incredible. It's the Swine Benny. So we have bacon, we have obviously our poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, and then pulled pork all on top of French toast. I cannot wait to dig in. Let's go for it. Oh man. Oh wow. I mean, it seems obvious to say. When I ordered this, I knew it would be kind of decadent with the French toast but it's a perfect balance between the salty and the sweet. I love it. All right, this looks absolutely beautiful. And this is a poached egg. This is my favorite thing to do. I'm going for a big bite. Madeline is absolutely raving about this. Look at that. That is what we came for. I do love how the sweetness of the French toast counteracts with all the savory with the pulled pork and the egg, bacon. Got these little chilies here too. Mm. That is a delicious dish. All right, this is the short rib dish. And as you can see, it's got um, red potatoes, it's got tomatoes, caramelized onion, obviously the short rib, fried egg on top. So we're just gonna cut into it. Look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. I would say it's almost like a shashuka, which doesn't have meat, but they actually have that on the menu here, so. Just gonna have it right there. That is not lacking for flavor. That is really, really good. The braised beef short rib is very flavorful. I love the fried egg on top of that. And you've got this nice, like, caramelized onion, tomato-y sauce that just sits on top of it. And they actually have this toast. So we're just gonna, oop, oh, we're gonna load up right there. We're gonna take a huge, huge bite. And I think I'm gonna do the same right now. Wow, this is a beautiful dish. The colors are incredible. short rib, it's cooked perfectly. And um, there's like a sweetness from the red pepper that mixes in. And it's just, it's not spicy, but it's got a lot of nice spice flavor. Mm. That's really good. So tonight we're having dinner at a place called Alligator Soul, and a lot of their menu items feature alligator. So we're gonna order a few items that have alligator in them. And we're starting off with an alligator chorizo mac and cheese, which if you see something like that on the menu, you just have to get it. I should just, <laughs> I'm trying to be polite and take some and put it on my plate, but I would like to just eat this whole spoonful. Wow. 
This mac and cheese is so cheesy. And so I are guess, you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we've got alligator chorizo on top of this beautiful mac and cheese. We may have over ordered, but I have no regrets. They know how to do mac and cheese in the South. That is kind of a given, but this is absolutely incredible. It's a like a really sharp cheddar flavor in this chorizo. Okay, I'm gonna take some of just like just the chorizo on top and try this just by itself. Honestly, like if I didn't know it's alligator, I would have no idea what. <laughs> Like, it's kind of, I don't know, it's very smoky, so I don't know if that comes from the alligator. I've never eaten alligator before, but this tastes really good. We also got the gumbo because Savannah is an older southern city. It's got that kind of old world historic architecture, similar to Charleston or New Orleans. And so there's obviously the southern food, but there's a bit of a Creole New Orleans flavor in the town as well. And so there's a number of spots that specialize in that. So we actually got the gumbo. And their gumbo's got like six different ingredients. I'm looking forward to that coming out. This is the gumbo here at Alligator Soul. And I like the wide dish. It lets me see everything that's in there. It's gonna go right there. It's got a really good depth of flavor, really rich. And you can get that andouille sausage. Look at that, look at that. That's southern goodness on a spoon right there. That shrimp on there. Key to a good gumbo, make your own seafood broth. And I'm gonna take shrimp and I'm gonna get sausage too. I'm just try to get all the meats in one bite. This is a flavor bomb. Oh, like Adam said, that's a real deep flavor. We've made gumbo before at home, and it's really hard to do right. Making a roux is not a specialty of mine, so I'm very happy to go out to eat and order it from people who know what they're doing. Anytime I come to the South, I have to get shrimp and grits. It is my favorite thing, and I can never pass it up when I see it on a menu. And this one has cheddar cheese, Georgia shrimp, Creole seasoning, and then it has an alligator bacon jam. I believe that's what this is right here. Mmm, that's a little spicy, a little sweet and smoky. I think, I don't know, is it polite for me to just do this? Sure. That shrimp is very fresh. So much flavor. Let's get these grits here. Grits is not something that we do well in the Midwest. And I am or shrimp. Or shrimp, because we're landlocked. But I absolutely love grits and I wish it was something that we did back home. There's so much I mean you can see, you can literally see the flavor here. It is just so good. I'm loving this, this alligator jam. Well, I almost never get shrimp and grits because Madeline loves them so much, she always gets them. And we don't think it'd be very interesting if you watch people eat the same food. So, I always only get a little bite, but I gotta tell you, the flavor sitting on top of this shrimp and grits looks unreal, and I got the shrimp ready to go, just coated right there. I'm gonna get this alligator jam. I think this is what they said, put a little south in your mouth, right here. Cheese grits, the lemon butter, the Creole seasoning, fresh Georgia shrimp. I mean, this is, there's no quit. This is what we come to the South for. Full flavor. This is why we leave the South. 
five pounds heavier every time we come down here. <laughs> Man, alive. That is good, y'all. <laughs> I wish you had a Ford ETV so you could smell this food. If your food smells good, that's usually a good sign that it's gonna taste good. This food smells amazing. It looks amazing. This pea puree, it is so green. We got a black bean cassoulet with spinach in it. Those are both great. I haven't even gotten to the pork chop, which is topped with a peach barbecue sauce. We're in Georgia. You know, pork chop's really kind of a southern, you find it a lot on southern menus. And to get a pork chop topped with peach barbecue sauce, I thought, what is gonna be more Georgia than that? So let's just. Do a little pea puree on there too. This is the most juicy pork chop I've ever had. It honestly tastes closer to a steak. Sometimes you get pork chops that can be a little dry. Not this one. This one is incredibly, incredibly tender. I've never had a pork chop like this. I have to say, we rarely eat pork chops and I've never heard Adam ever rave about a pork chop. I don't even know if I've ever really seen him eat one. So, this must be delicious. Mm. Oh wow, that's very good. It's very smoky, very tender. Wow, seriously, I wish every pork chop tasted like this. And there's some sweet potatoes and this <laughs> well, I looked at the menu again, and this pork chop was cold smoked, which means it's actually smoked at a temperature of less than 100 degrees. I gotta look into that process a little bit more because that is absolutely the most tender pork chop that I've ever had. It's almost like prime rib. It's insane. You probably don't believe me. You have to come here and try it. But this is a nice restaurant. I kind of want to lick my plate. I won't because I want to embarrass my wife, but if she wasn't here, I'd definitely lick my plate. That's how good this meal was. I'm very happy with everything that we've eaten tonight. Tonight, we're in Savannah at Lulu's Chocolate Bar. We have been here once before and we're glad to be back. I ordered the white chocolate cheesecake and Adam ordered a big slice of chocolate chip cookie. We've seen some come out already and they look amazing. Here's my big slice of chocolate chip cookie warmed up with ice cream and whipped cream. chocolate chip cookie, you lose the gooeyness. No. Right here. No. Ooh. It's soft. See that? See how soft that is? Wow. So you get the ice cream. This is as classic as you can get. By the way, chocolate chip cookie and then in America. So one point for America. More like 10. Okay, I'm taking a bite. Is there anything better than a warm chocolate chip cookie? I don't think so. Mm. Also, Lulu's is a very popular spot. The line is out the door and it's like 9.30 at night. This is a huge slice of cheesecake. We might be taking some of this home. White chocolate chip. So wait, it's white chocolate cheesecake with chocolate chips, and then the bottom is a cookie crust. Oh wow. A little bit of whipped cream on the side. Wow. 
I love, I love cheesecake. White chocolate cheesecake, arguably like the best kind of cheesecake. You're adding in chocolate chips and the crust. The crust is like an Oreo cookie. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wow. I would wait in line for this. Absolutely not. All right, white chocolate cheesecake. Madeline's raving about it. It is, by the way, a huge slice of cheese to me. Like. <laughs> It's really rich. It's actually exactly full of chocolate. Just total, total chocolate. Just full decadence. Pure Lulu's. We just sat down here at Mrs. Wilkes. We waited outside in line. We got here about 10 o'clock. They open at 11. They bring in 70 people at once. And when you come in, the table is set and ready to go. So there's about 20 different dishes on this table. And we're gonna figure out what it all is and just get going. I took a little bit of everything. So on my plate here, I have pulled pork, cornbread stuffing, sweet potatoes, cucumber salad and collard greens, mashed potatoes, cream corn. We have beans, green beans, butter beans, black eyed peas, noodles with peas, and okra. There's just so much food, it feels like Thanksgiving. I loaded up my plate with everything we could find here at Miss Wilkes, and I'm gonna start with a little stuffing, mac and cheese, sweet potato. Those are amazing. This is pulled pork. Mm. Really tender, a good barbecue sauce. We got mashed potatoes and gravy. Look at this biscuit. Look at this is so pillowy soft. Literally doesn't need anything. First thing Madeline said was it's like Thanksgiving dinner. I definitely agree. You kind of mix all the food together and it just all tastes amazing. The star of the show has arrived. Fried chicken. So right here, we have the two stars of the show. We've got fried okra and fried chicken. Fried chicken came on a huge plate, piled high. I don't even know, okay, I'm gonna go okra first. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Oh, chicken. I'm gonna go right in. That was so crispy. Oh my gosh, I hope you could hear that crunch. <laughs> Ooh, uh, ah. Wow, that is delicious, salty, crispy goodness. Mm. Oh, yeah. My God. <laughs> Going in for seconds on the cornbread casserole. Oh yeah, it's cornbread stuffing. That makes no sense. We call it cornbread casserole. Cornbread stuffing has uh, jalapenos. Oh, it's so good. I think it's one of my favorite things on the whole table. I'm not saying something because everything is absolutely delicious. We are finishing off our meal with a little dessert. I got the peach cobbler. Ooh. 
I mean, naturally, we're in Georgia. I had to go with the peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Well, I got the other dessert, the banana pudding. I can't believe I'm still hungry. I mean, I'm not really hungry, I'm just force feeding myself. Tasty. It's got like vanilla wafers in there, banana, whipped cream. That was nice and sweet. Like I said, this whole meal is pure comfort food. I don't know how we're gonna go on with the rest of our day. We got here right at 11 and we all just filled up. <laughs> I might need to take a nap later. This is a family-owned spot. It's been run by the same family for four generations. And we actually met Mrs. Wilkes' granddaughter. She came over and she asked if we needed anything. She checks on everybody, every table. So you really kind of feel like you're part of the family when you're here. And we kind of, you're, you're eating family style. So the people that you're in line with all sit down with you and you just start talking. You meet people from other places. We're here with people from Florida and we were just chatting and having a great lunch together. So this is a rum flavored ice cream. It's been an original flavor since 1919. This place has been open for over a hundred years. And it has obviously the rum flavored ice cream, but also almond macaroons. So here we go. Mm. So that macaroon is huge. Right? And it's just covered with that ice cream that's super rich. All their ice cream is made here, Georgia made. Mm. We got the small size because we got a lot of eating to do here in Savannah. But we want to stop him. Delicious ice cream. I don't think that your trip to Savannah is complete unless you've stopped in to Leopold's. I don't even think they let you leave Savannah without having some ice cream here. But this has a huge piece of the macaroon in here. Yeah, that's good. The, because they make these cookies in house too. And they mix them into the ice cream. Mm. Rum flavored ice cream is, um, not something I normally order, but it called out to us today. Successful quick trip into Leopold's. Now we're going to keep on rolling here in Savannah. So right now we're heading over for dinner at the Old Pink House. It's located in the historic district here in Savannah and the restaurant is inside an old historic 1700s mansion. The reservations book up pretty far in advance, but they do take walk-ins for dinner in their tavern that is downstairs. And that's where we're gonna be eating tonight. The menu looks incredible. We're pretty excited to head over. All right. So we have the fried chicken here, and I can tell you, this fried chicken is so crispy. Can you hear that? I mean, the skin on this thing is incredible. It's just so crispy. It smells amazing. And by the way, when I say fried chicken, it's like the whole chicken. Like, it's not just like a couple pieces. The whole chicken is fried. I'm looking forward to eating it, so let's go. This chicken is really crispy. You are not lying about that. Okay. I'm just gonna dive in. Ooh. Yeah. 
Wow, the, uh, the skin on this chicken is absolutely delicious. Which is kind of like, duh. Of course it is. But it's the seasoning is incredible. It's cooked perfectly. The chicken's really tender. I mean, it's fried chicken. I like to eat fried chicken. Some mac and cheese, Madeline's favorite. Okay. A little more complicated than I thought, so I apologize. I'm gonna leave the rest for her. I'm that nice. This is the grouper with the crab cake stuffed inside. And we've got mashed potatoes and green beans. We're gonna get a little bit of everything. This is a Burt Blanc sauce all over everything. Oh, that's good. <laughs> mm. The mashed potatoes are like the perfect consistency. Mm. The fish is so fresh. I know it's dark in here, so you can't really see it, but it's a beautifully plated dish and it tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Wow, the sauce on here is incredible. I oh, wish you could see. I don't know if you can see in here, but it is just stuffed the crab cake. Wow. Oh, the outside's like a little bit crispy. There's a ton of flavor on this plate. I cannot wait to dig into this grouper. It's absolutely one of my favorite fishes. Stuff with the crab cake. This dish was built for me. And I got the mashed potatoes, crab cake, and the grouper right in there. This is why we love to come to the south. We just can't get food like that where we're from. This is everything you love about the south. Fresh fish, full flavor. That's why we gotta hit the treadmill when we get home, but it's totally worth it. And I just, I could eat this meal every day. I'm never get tired of it. Well, that was the Planters Tavern at the Old Pink House. It is the same menu and it was absolutely delicious. Well, I am up top, high above Savannah here at the Julian Bar at uh, the Thompson and the view is absolutely phenomenal of Savannah. We started off with some fresh baked bread. It's topped with garlic, olive oil, and sea salt. And we got some chili to dip it in. This is some of the best bread I've ever had. I'm not even joking. Um, it is so fluffy, so fresh, and then I absolutely love this kind of red pepper. We got some drinks on the way. We got a cocktail, and I got some wine. We're looking forward to coming out. This is a really nice trip somewhere. This is such a nice rooftop bar. There's an amazing view out here on the balcony. We decided not to sit outside because it is a little warm this evening, but on a cool Savannah night, sitting outside with a drink, looking at the view of the river, I think it'd just be a great way to spend the evening. Well, as per usual, I have this unique talent in ordering the girliest drink on the menu. And this is called the Bramble On. It's a gin drink that has blackberry, honey, cardamom. And I think that's how you say that. But, the nice part about drinks like this is they usually taste really, really good. Marshall Erickson, how I met your mother, has the same skill. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna apologize. It's a tasty drink. We're having breakfast today at Fleeting, which is the restaurant here inside the Thompson Hotel. 
and I ordered some granola. I'm going a little lighter this morning while Adam ordered biscuits and gravy because we're in the South and he just had to go all in this morning. Well, I can't come to the South without getting biscuits and gravy and it's like a good spot to do it. These are very tidy biscuits and gravy. That had to be quite a challenge coming up with biscuits and gravy that aren't a total mess. This is really brushed. Gravy's good. House made sausage. But what I want to do next is take this poached egg, put it right on top. I went for the lighter fare this morning. We have been eating well here in the South, but just a little yogurt, granola, a little bit of fruit. Mm. I'm just kind of a sucker for house-made granola. It was just fresh and clean. I think we'll probably have a big lunch, so this is gonna set me up well for the day. Right now we're heading to this great little bar here on Tybee. It's called The Deck. It's kind of hidden. It's off the main drag here in sort of this um, hotel complex area, but it has a great view and the drinks here are fantastic. So we're just gonna pop in and uh, see what they're serving up. Last time we were in Savannah, we came out to Tide the Island a lot, and this spot was one that we came a couple times because we really enjoyed it. They have amazing drinks, and the owners of this bar actually are part of the same group that has Collins Quarter and the Fitzroy over in Savannah, and they really know what they're doing. And I contend this is the best pina colada, at least in the state of Georgia, but maybe in the height of our hat. So they have, like Adam said, they have a great cocktail menu here. They also have a great food menu, but we are just here for drinks right now. What jumped out to me on the menu is the spicy mango margarita. And you can see here, there are jalapenos inside. I, uh, I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty refreshing. That's good, a little sweet, a little spicy. And you really cannot beat the setting that we are in right now. The beach is right here. You can walk on out to the water. I love this place. If you want to see more from our adventures in Savannah, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.